Hey healers, welcome to another Daily Divine Health download. I am Jacqueline, the Holistic Siren, bringing you healing to your physical, spiritual, and emotional bodies. So guys, I am going to hop... <laughs> Hi, babe. My fiance just joined. Um, so I'm going to hop right into it, you guys. We're going to check in for January 21st to see what um, chakras and what areas of the body and your health need a little TLC today. All right, so we're going to hop right into it. Ask our angels, our guides, God, source, whatever resonates with you. What chakras and areas of the body need a little TLC today? I'm going to hop... Oh. I'm going to go through this pretty quick because I need to drop off my car. I gingerly rolled into a pole. <laughs> my fiance is really happy about that. Um, okay, you guys. So we have love first. Okay. Um, I'm a big dog person. I feel like a lot of you guys who are watching this are dog people. Um, my fiance and I have a dog, uh, Lizzie. She is just like our entire world. We're completely obsessed. Um, but so the card itself is green. So that signifies the heart chakra. Okay. So you guys could be experiencing some like low self-esteem today. Um, you know, having some feeling like issues in your relationship, but where you're not really telling your partner how you really feel about certain things. Um, and it's, it's hurting your heart, right? This, this could also be not showing yourself self love. Like if you guys are constantly giving to other people, you can't pour from an empty cup. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard that saying a million times. Um, but this card itself says kindness, benevolence, sharing and receiving. So sometimes I know for me, especially it's very easy for me to give love. Um, but it's sometimes difficult for me to receive it. Um, and that is something that's been a theme um, for today and yesterday a little bit also. Um, so be kind with yourself, guys. Be gentle with yourself. Allow yourself to receive love. If you notice that you have issues um, accepting compliments without paying the compliment back, that could be some heart chakra imbalances. Um, and when you don't show yourself love, you're honestly not caring for the physical heart as well. Um, so you guys could be having some anxiety around these issues, especially I'm getting like a lot of like relationship issues. Um, so you could be having like rapid heartbeat, high anxiety, um, and it could just be making you feel really, really uncomfortable, okay? So the best thing to do is to manage your stress level with regard to practicing some self-care. That is the like overarching message today. And because this is a health-focused channel, show your body some love. Like where, what areas have you been neglecting your body? Have you not been eating properly? Have you not been eating whole plant-based foods that are high in nutrients? Um, are you more focused on, um, for some reason, I'm going back to like my bodybuilding mentality and thinking about like macros, macronutrients, um, which are proteins, carbs, and fats. Micronutrients are vitamins and minerals, okay? The things that you need from whole foods in smaller amounts. Um, so that's kind of like what I'm getting from this. Like don't focus so much on like carbs, protein, fat. I feel like a lot of you guys get wrapped up in this, especially with New Year's resolutions, trying new diets, veganism, keto, Mediterranean, the DASH diet, um, carnivore, which is a big one. So don't cut out any food groups, like incorporate more like whole foods. And because the uh, color of the heart chakra is green, this like screams anything that is green. Cucumbers, celery, um, dark leafy greens, asparagus, green apples, just you can Google, you know, a list of green whole plant-based foods and that will definitely, um, that's definitely a big message coming through today. So show your, show your body self-care and that could also be through movement too. Okay. Your heart is a vital part of your circulatory system. Um, so blood circulation throughout your body. Okay. Your, your heart is what you know, controls that. So move your body with intention, even if it's like going outside and going for a walk, going for a hike. Um, I feel like getting outside would help you guys too. like get out of like your typical like space. Um, that's like reminding you of like what's going on that's upsetting you. Uh, kind of try to like disconnect from your like typical environment. Okay. And the other card that came up, huh, guys, I didn't even look at this when I looked down. 
relationships. What did I say? Heart chakra. I felt like it was all about relationships today. Um, so this is for the sacral chakra. Okay. So the sacral chakra is like your, your sexuality, your creativity, um, like free spiritedness. Okay. Like expressing who you are. All right. Um, the card says intimacy, freedom, acceptance, and trust. So for me, this is like expressing your your intimacy in your relationship. Like what are what are some things that you've been afraid to what are some things that you've been afraid to tell your partner or tell a parent or a friend? Like it, there's some like there's some like resistance between relationships and you guys, it's like getting to a breaking point where it's, it's really stifling your heart. Okay. So your sacral chakra is your second chakra. Okay. So it's, um, it's below your navel and then your heart chakra is up here. Okay. So if you have blockages, um, in the lower chakras, it affects the chakras above it. Okay. So if you're not expressing yourself, um, if you're not um, feeling free to express who you are, accepting who you are as a person, accepting your partner for who they are, that could be mirroring as well. So if you see something in your partner that you dislike, it's probably mirroring something, mirroring something you dislike in within yourself. Okay. Um, so accept who you are, like do some soul searching. What, um, what areas of your relationships do you feel like you're lacking intimacy? Um, and when you lack intimacy, guys, at least for me, it translates to um, a lack of, of stability and sense of security. And I mean, I feel like trust and a sense of security kind of go hand in hand. Um, and I, I also feel like, like intimacy with your body, like acceptance of your body also. Like if you're not accepting of the person you're with, you're more than likely not accepting of some aspects of yourself. And again, this is a health focused channel. So what, what aspects of your body are you not accepting towards? Like, are you not, you know, the weight you want to be, or does your body not look the way you want it to look? Do, do you not feel how you think you should feel, even though your body does look the way you want it to look? You know, really explore those issues. Um, with the uh, the sacral chakra, foods to focus on are associated with the color of the chakra. So any foods that are orange in color, um, we've actually been getting a lot of sacral chakra during these daily divine health downloads. So and like sweet potatoes, um, cantaloupe, uh, orange bell peppers. And again, you can Google orange whole plant-based foods. Very easy. Nothing processed you guys with regard to any type of foods you're eating for the chakras. You want whole plant-based foods. All right. Um, so you're getting adequate and pure energy, um, from the earth. Okay. So now I am going to see what forms of self-care we need to practice today. What forms of self-care do we need to practice today? January 21st. I'm getting like strong self-care vibes. Okay. So the first one is meditate. Okay. So this makes a lot of sense to me because when you meditate, you quiet your mind. Okay. When you quiet your mind, it's much easier to see a situation from a higher perspective. Okay. You can get into what I like to call observer mode and you can look at, at a situation objectively versus like when you're in the same space as the person you're having an issue with, or if you're in like, um, the environment that is eliciting your anxiety, it's very difficult to separate and like look at it from a higher perspective, like a bird's eye point of view and to be objective. So quieting your mind, um, getting into a space that, you know, you feel very calm in would be really helpful. So you can start to understand like where these issues are stemming from. Okay. Um, and then I feel like you guys have been having like really vivid dreams. Like you're, it's almost like your subconscious is trying to show you like what you need to work on, but you're missing it because you're not paying attention. Hey, Chels. Um, my best friend just joined. Awesome. Uh, so 
dream journal, so important. I, again, I feel like you guys, your subconscious is trying to show you the traumas or the, the issues that are causing you anxiety through dreams because in your waking life, you're just like, it's like monkey mind, right? Like you, you can't, you're doing so many different things and it's almost like you're trying to distract yourself, but when you're sleeping, like your subconscious mind takes over and it's, oh, sorry. It's telling you like, Hey, pay attention, like write down what I'm trying to tell you. So you actually feel better when you're awake. Okay. And you're not like spinning your wheels constantly. All right, you guys. So recap focus um for the chakras is your heart chakra and your sacral chakra okay show your body some self-love whether it's through a form of movement exercise and or eating green um whole plant-based foods all right um and then your sacral chakra, so eating whole plant-based foods that are orange in color. Again, like citrus fruits, cantaloupe, um, sweet potatoes are really great. I keep thinking sweet potatoes, so that might be a better option for you guys. Um, and express your creativity, like show yourself self-love through a creative outlet. Um, your sacral chakra is all about your creativity, your sexuality. I mean, if you want to get like creative in the bedroom, like you can do that too. Um, sex is such an important uh, part of a relationship, um, for all my adults who are watching and, um, sex with yourself too. Okay. Like pleasing yourself is a form of self-love. Um, and it's a great way to decrease stress and clear your mind. Okay. So that is the daily divine health download for today. Again, I'm Jacqueline, the holistic siren, and I am so grateful for you guys for uh, sticking around and watching. Um, if this resonated with you, uh, feel free to comment below and let me know what you guys think. And if you would like to um, make a donation or tip me, you can do so through the link in my bio on my cash app, PayPal, or buy me a coffee. I appreciate the energy exchange. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and I love you so, so much.